Okay, in this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how to work with slow motion clips in iMovie. And the version of iMovie that I'm using is, let's just jump up to here to about iMovie. It's version 10.3.5. So hopefully you can work along to sort of how this looks. Generally, the interface should look roughly the same. There might be a few bits that are a bit different. You know, if you're struggling with anything, um, leave a leave a comment and I'll, I'll sort of try to help out. Um, so generally what happens in iMovie is the first clip that you drop in, that sets the base frame rate for your whole video. So, you know, if um, you want to be working at 25 frames a second, for example, just make sure that's the first clip that you drop into your video. So, you know, your base frame rate could be anything from 24, 25, 30, 50, or maybe even 60 frames a second. It just depends how you want to work. So the first thing really to, to bear in mind when you do this is, um, you know, if you want a clip as a slow motion clip, you need to shoot it at higher frame rate. So um, our clip here was, uh, it was actually shot at um, 200 frames a second. So <clears throat> I can get, um, I, I can make that eight times slower on the timeline, on the 25 frames a second timeline. Um, so, you know, if you want to slow something down by half the speed and your base um, frame rate for the video is 25 frames, just make sure you shoot it at 50 frames or above. And the same for, um, you know, if you want to slow something down by four times, like 25% speed, shoot it at 100 frames a second on a 25 frame timeline. Um, otherwise, everything, it will just look really jerky and it, it just won't look smooth and it, it won't look very good. So uh, if, if you can get the multiples down exactly, you know, that's that's the preference. But, you know, as long as it's shot at a higher frame rate, it will certainly look better than if it's not. So with that said, let's quickly kind of jump in. So one person had kind of asked me this and iMovie is not something I use all the time, but I wanted to have a look and try and help out. So if, um, you know, if you've got better ways of doing this, then feel free to kind of drop them in the comments. But this is kind of how I've seen it. So when you drop in these clips in, what you'll find is um, <laughs> we've kind of got the slow bit at the start and then the actions happened and then it's decided now to slow the clip down. So it's kind of interpreted the clip wrong. Um, I would have liked the slow motion bit to be the bit where the Zippo light had opened and the flame had gone up. So if um, on this, we, we can sort of move the points, but it's kind of clunky and it doesn't really work so well, but you can kind of see down here, you know, if we speed up footage, we've got the rabbit. So that's sped up footage. We've got the turtle for slowed down footage. And generally, what I'd do is I'd drag the clip on, come up to modify, and then just hit reset speed, or you can see there's a shortcut for it there, but hit reset speed, and then our clip now is just at the, uh, how it how it was kind of shot, so it's just, it's just gonna play at that speed. And then what we wanted to do, what you can do is if you kind of scrub across the timeline just by putting your cursor over there, and then if you hold down R, what you could do, if we grab it there, oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. If you hold down R and then sort of drag across, and that's just dragging a range, then about there is the range that I want. And if I come up to modify, slow motion, and then I'll slow that down to 25%. And then you can see we've got our little turtle here and the rest of it is just normal. So what we should find now when we come back, we play the clip, and then we've got that slow down just for that bit there. And because the clip is like this, we can also just come along and do it again. So I really like the sound when that Zippo closes. So we took it about there, dragged our range across to just there where it's closed. Go up to modify, again, slow motion, 25. And then you can see it's pulled that a bit out. It's not quite big enough to add the icon in, but that's fine. If, uh, if we play it, you should find we're going at normal speed and then we've got the slow motion and the sound there for when it closed and then it's back to normal speed again. So hopefully that kind of helps because the um, it, it's a little bit clunky the way that kind of slow motion mechanism works on there. So, you know, if, um, if you're finding that it's just misinterpreting shots, that's an easy way to just remove everything and then just do it your own way, you know, slow down the parts of the footage that you want slowed down or maybe speed up parts of the footage that you want to speed up. 
So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please, please give the video a like. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, then uh, please subscribe.